Good morning, everyone. This is Elaine with Elaine's Creations joining you here live on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me. I love it when you say hi and tell me where you're from and how your weather is. I'm here in San Jose, California, and it's a nice crisp fall day. We're finally getting into fall here mid-November and the leaves are falling and the weather is getting cooler. I had a nice walk yesterday morning and uh, we've had some rain and moisture recently so there was actually some water in the little stream that I walked next to so that was really nice. So I hope you guys are having great weather and that you are having a great day and that you had a great weekend. What did you guys do this weekend? Um, let's see. I hardly remember like what I did on the weekend. I have to think. Um, I think we just hung out. And then, of course, on Sunday, we went to church and uh, we had dinner with my husband's family like we normally do and um, celebrated uh, my family birthday party. We, we like have a family birthday party for everyone, you know, Sunday dinner. And so that was fun. Um, so I am going to get started here. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Becky. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Stampin' Up's seasonal sale starts today and it's an amazing sale. Um, you get 10% off cardstock, 15% off inks, and 20% off dies, all in the annual catalog. So nothing's from the holiday catalog, just in the annual catalog. But check over all the dies and uh, get the ones that you want for 20% off, and then stock up on your cardstock and uh, complete your ink collection. And uh, this is a great time to do that. And not only that, you can get even more savings when you purchase the starter kit because uh, Stampin' Up! has a starter kit special as well. So instead of $99, the starter kit is $75 and you get $125 worth of product, free shipping, no tax, a free paper pumpkin voucher or kit, and um, all the business supplies that you need to get started. So um, all you have to do is um, go to my website, eileenscreations.net, and click on join now. And uh, you can get um, in on that starter kit special. And not only can you do the starter kit special uh, this Tuesday through Thursday during the seasonal sale, you can put those seasonal sale items in your starter kit. So you will get another, you know, 10, 15 or 20% off those items in your starter kit. So you could choose all dyes and you'll get another 20% off. So this is a fabulous time um, to take advantage of the starter kit. And most importantly, um, and I think the best reason is um, to join my team and to join our fun community of stampers and card makers. We get together every month and we swap and uh, we really enjoy each other's company and have fun. And it's just a great community. And I think that's the best part of being a member of my team is just being a part of a friend group that enjoys the same uh, hobby that you enjoy. So, um, and I like to spoil my team members. I hope they all feel spoiled. So um, let me know if you have any more questions about that, but I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, so the sale is, starts today and goes through Thursday. Um, and ends at um, 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. So here in California, it would be 10.59 p.m. So just be aware it's Mountain Time. All right, so um, let's do the raffle prize. Let's see here, I'm just gonna see, okay. So last week, the raffle prize uh, was these fun little boxwood wreaths. They're super cute. And the winner is Sylvia Wilson. So congratulations, Sylvia. Just uh, email me your address and I will send it right out to you. So this week's prize is super fun. I love using these. Got to kind of shake them up. This is a smooch spray. 
and it's like a glitter spray and it's super pretty and it just really adds a fun element to your projects and cards. And so this is the raffle prize if you uh, comment and uh, share this video. So it goes in this little package because it's glass to keep it protected. So um, thank you guys for watching and so much for your support. And um, we had on stage last week, which is Stampin' Up's uh, yearly event where they recognize their demonstrators for their achievements and also introduce products from the upcoming January, June catalog, which used to be the occasions catalog. And um, I was um, a part of the uh, recognition, which is really um, fun. And I thank you guys for your support. Um, I was able to be recognized in sales, team building, and leadership, as well as earning the incentive trip. So thank you guys so much. And um, I look forward to more fun and stamping with you this year. Um, so I have some fun holiday Christmas cards to show you today using the Merriest Moments bundle. And I shouldn't say bundle, I should say painted Christmas suite, because it's really the whole suite of products, which is really amazing. And so much fun. I've been having so much fun playing with the paper and the dyes. And there's just so many amazing things that you can do with them and create with them. They're just so pretty. And uh, there's actually two bundles in this suite, as well as DSP ribbon and some gold leaves. Very pretty. I'll show you those. Um, so let me switch over and I will spotlight this one and show you. Okay, so I think I've switched over now to this. And uh, these are the products that are in the Painted Christmas Suite. We have the Christmas Season Stamp Set along with the Seasonal Labels Dies. And so these dies um, cut out the pine cones and pretty much everything you see here, along with um, they have some labels. So they have this large one, these two that fit inside each other, this one, and these two long ones. And then these are fun. This is for a slot for ribbon. So you can do some slots for ribbon. And then this is like an, an end piece. Um, for a tag or um, for, um, let's see, what else could it be used for? I, I'm forgetting, sorry, I'll remember and I'll let you know. Um, and then this is, I think a part of another die set. <laughs> the one that I used last week, I don't know how it ended up on there. So that's not really part of the dice, but um, so those are the seasonal labels dies. So I'm gonna stick this on here so I don't lose that one. Okay, so that's that. And then we have the Christmas to remember bundle. And so it's got all these lovely sayings and sentiments. And then we've got this layering pine cone die, which is super cool. So you cut out both of them and then you can layer this one on this one and it uh, lines up so that you can have this pretty two-tone. Uh, pine cones and pine branches. And then you've got all these separate pine cones too. So super fun. And then just doesn't end. We've got the painted Christmas designer series paper, and it was all uh, watercolored by one of Stampin' Up's concept artists, and then uh, transferred over to uh, the computer so that they can uh, digitally match all the colors to our colors. So this is amazing. Somebody watercolored all of these designs and then it was put on the computer to make into paper. So super cool. I think there's a video on Stampin' Up's um, Facebook page uh, showing you how she watercolored some of this. So if you have a chance, go check that out. It's really cool. And then we have this gorgeous metallic cherry cobbler ribbon. I can see the sheen and shine, so pretty. I love, love, love it. I love ribbon so much. And then we've got these gold holly leaves 
and uh, we've got two different sizes. There's like a large and a small. And so you've got, um, how many pieces do you have? 30 leaves. So that's quite a bit of leaves there. You can do a lot of cards with these leaves. And then um, I've also used a couple of embossing folders that I will show you later. So let me um, look right here at the catalog. It's on uh, pages 16 and 17. So here's the samples that you can do. So, so pretty. I love how they watercolored that right there. And I just love all the pine cones. It's just so pretty. Okay, so um, like I said, there's everything in the suite. Um, you've got your bundles, your gold leaves, your ribbon, and your uh, DSP. So really, really nice suite. You can order the whole suite with one number, or you can pick and choose what you like best and order them separately. Okie dokie. I'm so excited. Which card should I start with first? Let's do this card. Uh, no, I changed my mind. Let's do this card. Woo, isn't that pretty? So pretty. So this card is a little different. It opens like this. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I started with a piece of Evening Evergreen and this is just eight and a quarter by five and a half, I'm sorry, four and a quarter. And I've scored it at five and a half and just uh, flipped it up. And actually I take it back. I think this might be eight, this is eight inches. Sorry, not eight and a quarter, eight inches. So it's a little bit shorter. And then I've used some of the gorgeous DSP to uh, decorate the card. So this is one of the pieces. I just, I, I love it so much. It's so pretty. So this is just going to go down here flat. And then I'm just going to line that all up. This is four by five and a quarter. And then this piece, whoops, I want to use this side is two, uh, four by two. So gonna think four by two and a quarter. We're gonna put that right there. So that's uh, decorated. Let me just check this. Yeah, two and a quarter. Okay, whoops. Sorry, just totally shook everything. Okay, so now um, I'm going to put the inside card in here and I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. So um, we've got May this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. And um, that is from the Christmas to remember stamp set. So let me put that on here. Okay, I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle. Hopefully straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna let that dry a little bit because the ink was a little bit um, juicy. And I'll just put this on here flat. I thought about doing dimensionals, but since it's on the inside, I decided to keep it flat. And then, um, oh, well, I guess I tried that one. You could do have a holly jolly Christmas or may this be a Christmas to remember. I didn't realize that I had stamped on the other side of that. Surprise. Okay, so now we get to do this fun front piece. Super, super fun. So I've taken um, the same size um, crumb cake as inside, and that is three by four and a quarter. And so the white pieces are two and three quarters, or I'm sorry, two and seven eighths, it looks like. Um, nope, two and three quarters by four. 
I think I'm going to cut that down a little bit. And um, I've used the wintry embossing folder. Yeah, there, you can see it, the one with the pine, because, you know, we've got all the pine. And so it's a set of two embossing folders. Maybe if I put them down, you can see them better. No, not really. Um, let's put a piece of white cardstock behind it. So wintry um, gives you that uh, pine bow look. And then there's the snowflakes. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe that's better but super pretty. Um, it's on back order right now, but I will let you know um, as soon as it's back in stock. And I wanted to just add like a little uh, touch of color on the background. And so I did uh, rub a little bit of pear pizzazz. And I'm wondering if I should do um, evening evergreen, if that would be too dark. That might be too dark. I'm gonna stick with the pear pizzazz. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Pear pizzazz, and I've got my little sponge dabber. And you're gonna do that, and then you're just gonna get a little bit off on a scratch sheet because you don't want it to be too dark. And then you're just gonna super lightly rub over the image because you just want to get the, the tops, the raised part of the image. You don't really want to fill in the, the back because then it takes away from the effect. You see how the leaves are coming to life, hopefully. Okay, so we're just going to rub this. Oh, I got a little bit dark there. Okay, we'll do over here, just nice and light. Sponge daubers are good for this because they're more flat than the blends. And I'm just gonna fill in a little bit really lightly in between. Okay, and so now I can kind of do the edges a little bit. I'm gonna get the edges a little bit more. And see how nice that looks. Hopefully you can see the, the difference. It's interesting when I see it in the camera, I can really see the dark and light spots. So this is super dark over here. Dark too, okay. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? It still looks really dark right there. See, I got that too dark. And it looks kind of light over here. Okay, but you can, you know, do as much or as little as you want, but a lot of it's gonna be covered up. Good morning, Christine, thanks for joining. All right, so now we're going to attach this to our crumb cake. So looks like I cut it a little bit too tall. So I'm just going to use my handy dandy trimmer. Oops. And trim off a little bit of the top. That looks better. Okay, and so this is going to be up here covering this, and I'm gonna use some dimensionals to put it on. So I'll do three down here. Whoops. Have you guys uh, played with any of the products from this suite yet? been having so much fun. Okay, so now the really fun part um, is all the decorations. So I've got a couple of um, scraps here. I'm going to start with this one. It's wider. And I'm going to use a crumb cake and 
uh, early espresso. So let's start with the crumb cake. And I'm gonna do um, a large um, pine cone. Get a large pine cone. And uh, let's see, we'll, we'll do holly leaves. We just got so much to do here. Gonna change this out. Okay, so here's our large pine cone and crumb cake. So I'm just gonna stamp this. And uh, I just love all the layering that you can do in this stamp set. So there's the large pine cone. And then I need my chamois. Clean that off. Okay. And then we'll do, so there's the large fuller pine cone, and then there's the more detailed pine cone. And that one we're gonna do with the crumb cake. I'm sorry, early espresso. Early espresso. We're just gonna ink that up. Make sure that's really well inked. And then these are distinctive stamps. So they're gonna give you those highlights and shadows when you stamp. So you have that really textured, watercolory look. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh, so pretty. Just love it. Okay, and then we can do um, some leaves. So we've got some holly leaves and some other leaves. So I wanted to show you those. So for the holly leaves, we have a two-step stamping. And so I did a soft succulent and evening evergreen. So we start with the lighter color, soft succulent. And we do the larger holly leaf. So here's the larger holly leaf. Okay. And then we do the evening evergreen. We do the more detailed uh, piece right here. So I'm just gonna line this up. And then it really makes it more dimensional and amazing. I love it. Okay, so that's the holly leaf. And then we have uh, this other bunch of leaves. Are super cool too. Let me grab this sheet of paper because it's wider, I think. Um, well, actually, no, I can fit it on a strip. So I'll just do a strip, I think. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this one's really fun. I like this one a lot. So I'm just going to stamp the soft succulent. And then there's this other stamp here that looks like this, that fits right on top. And uh, really gives it dimension, makes it look so cool. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I feel like an artist <laughs> and I'm just stamping. Clean that off. Should I clean this off? I can't remember. Okay, so um, those, and then there's the berries. Let's do some berries. So I've got some, something on my ink pad. Come off. Okay, so um, if you get something on your ink pad, you can just uh, try to use your tweezers to knock it off. Or if you have a lint roller, um, you can uh, just, use a sheet of your lint roller and it'll pick up all like the embossing powders and lint and cat hair. Yes, I found cat hair on my ink pads. I have no clue how, but uh, that'll pick it all up for you. Okay, so the little berries, there's this little stem stamp right here. Super cute. Oh, I think I could fit some berries right in here. So let's do some berries right there. And then um, I did cherry cobbler. So we do some cherry cobbler. 
and uh, close this up so I don't accidentally stamp in it. And then we've got uh, these little berries, so cute, and they just line up right on top of the stems. Sorry if my head is in the way. So there we go. So cute. And then uh, you'll want to clean this one off right away. It does uh, stain your stamp, but it still works perfectly fine. And if you still have, we used to sell this uh, stamp cleaning pad. This will help get off a little bit more of the red stain. Although I've used mine so much and I haven't been perfect about using the stamp cleaning pad that mine is pretty stained, but still works perfectly fine. Okay, so those are all the ones that I wanted to show you how to stamp. Although I need this still to do the Merry Christmas. Clean this one. Okay, and so I've already uh, stamped all the pine cones and berries and cut them out with the dyes and the holly leaves. And then I stamped a couple of uh, pine branches as well. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I did for the little tag. I used the tailored tags dies. These are so tailor made dies. These are so handy. I used the smallest one um, right here. And if you're gonna tie ribbon through there, I highly, highly recommend you use these little reinforcers here. Very important, um, very helpful so that you don't tear through the paper. Um, but I'm just gonna stamp on it. So I'm not gonna worry about reinforcing it. So I've got the uh, Mary, there's just a tiny little Mary stamp in the Christmas to remember right there. And so I'm gonna do, um, the Christmas first, I need to do the Christmas first. Okay, so I need to clean it off because I was using it on a card that I designed for Stamp Club, which is also very pretty. Um, and I'm just gonna stamp the, this looks a little bit wobbly, so I'm just gonna reset it. I'm only gonna um, ink up the Christmas part. And so I'm just gonna tilt my ink pad like this so I can see exactly where I'm inking. And I'm just gonna ink up the Christmas, okay? And I'm just gonna stamp the Christmas right here on the bottom of the tag. If you want, you could um, just stamp it on a piece of paper and um, then cut it out. Um, but for demonstrating purposes, I just did it this way. And then uh, I decided to use the Evening Evergreen to do the Mary. See, I've got cat hair on there. No clue how the cat, do you guys get cat hair on your ink pads? Okay, so this one I'm gonna kind of back it up, lean down, and I'm gonna place it between the H and the T. Merry Christmas. Wow, that was good. Gosh, there's a lot of, I must have had this opened and she must have walked by and all her fur got on here. Crazy. Where are my rollers? They're over there on my desk. Okay, so now uh, let us build this, okay, this, uh, this bit here. Okay, so all of these are going on dimensionals. So I've got big pine cone and little pine cone. And then the rest of everything I'm gonna stick um, behind. So I'm just gonna put um, dimensionals like in the center of the big one so I can stick stuff all around it. And then at the bottom of these. Gotta be strategic about your dimensional placement. Okay, so this one's gonna be angled up this way. And then this one's gonna be the opposite, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. And then we're gonna put down our smaller pine cones over to the sides. Super, super cute, like that. Okay, so now we're gonna start sticking these in and I'm gonna use uh, glue dots to do that. It's just easy. 
So I'm just gonna grab a glue dot and then I'm gonna stick one like right about there. No, I'm gonna hide that leaf like right there. And then we'll do the other one. Put that on this side, put it like right there, kind of make them opposite. And then we've got some of these. So we'll stick it right there. And then I'm gonna, I didn't do the other side on that one. I don't know why. Why didn't I do one there? I don't know. But I'm gonna stick this behind both of those. Should I stick one right there? I think I have an extra one. Maybe I'll stick one right there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put one right there. Okay, so now I can do my um, holly leaves. So when you cut them out, there are two different sizes. There's a, a large and a small. So you can, um, I'm gonna put the large one on the bottom, I think. So we'll do it like right there. And then we'll put the small one on the top about there. Now we've got our berries, do two berries. So we'll stick it on. And you're just like building this pretty bouquet, pine cone bouquet, Christmas bouquet, holiday bouquet. So pretty. And then put that one just right over top. Okay, so we've built this up, both sides kind of uh, paralleling each other, uh, mirroring each other. And uh, I'm going to bring in some of this and this and the um, ribbon. So I've been trying, you know, I usually tie, do the two bunny ears and tie, but I've been trying this uh, little bow maker. Okay, I don't quite get it, but I've been trying. So if I remember correctly, so this is just a really uh, two pieces of thick chipboard put together and then you cut a slit in the middle. And however wide these two pieces are, are gonna be the, the width of your bows. So um, if I remember correctly, you uh, bring it, oh, since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna hold with my left and I'm gonna bring the whole thing around um, there. And then I need to cut this off. I'm gonna give myself a lot of room, but I'm gonna kind of be wasting ribbon. Okay, so now that it's over here, I'm going to take this and um, I'm gonna make a loop on the right side, but I'm gonna tuck this in the hole here. Tuck in the hole, tuck, 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 tuck. Okay, so this is over here. So now I'm gonna pull this through, Let's see if I can get this right. I'm gonna pull this through and I'm going to go um, through the loop. I'm gonna go, how do I describe this? Through the loop this way, not under, but uh, over the loop, okay? And I'm gonna pull, okay? Pull, pull, pull. And uh, that is going to get me my nice bow with both pieces behind the bow. That's what I like about this. You're going to get both um, uh, tails behind the bow. Whereas when I tie it, tie it this way, there's one in front and one in back. And then hopefully um, this will get you a flatter knot as well. So it's not as bulky. And then you just slide this off. Ding, 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 ding. And look at that. Oh my gosh, I did it. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's how you can make your own little bow tire maker thing. Um, unfortunately, to me, it kind of wastes a lot of ribbon because you need some ribbon to be able to tie it. But I don't know, maybe you could use that, you know, if you did a sentiment and put that across or something like that. Okay, so now we're gonna put the bow on. Oh, I'm in love with the bow. <laughs> this 
ribbon is so pretty. Okay. And actually, before I put that on, I'm going to stick the, the um, tag on so that the bow can go over the tag and look like it's maybe part of the tag. So I'm just going to get a glue dot on this. I guess I could put a dimensional on it, but I'm just going to stick it like that. Call it good. Okay. And then we're going to put the bow. I'm going to kind of tilt it so that I don't quite hide my Mary. And look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I love it. So pretty. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Okay, so my next card. Oh, I forgot the gold leaves. Yeah, forget the gold leaves. So we're going to stick two little gold leaves in there too. If that wasn't enough. Okay, so there's a embossed side and then a back side. So just check out your leaf. And uh, I would say that the embossed side is the front because then you've got the detail in there. And I'm just going to stick a leaf like right there. And I'm going to do two. So let's do another one. Got to use your embellishments. Don't hog them, <laughs> says the girl who hogs all her embellishments. Oh, I love that bow. I think I'm going to tie all my bows that way now because it's so pretty. Okay. Love it. Love it. Okay. So that's the first card. Okay. Next card. I'm going to do this one. It's not pretty. But wait, there's a surprise inside. Look at that. It's a shadow box card. Isn't that fun? So fun. Okay, I love these cards. I've, I've done them many times before and I thought I would do another one. I thought it worked really nicely because of that um, seasonal label die that you have um, for the middle. Let me show that to you again. So this um, die right here. Okay, so we're gonna cut that out. So I'm gonna put this over here, but first I'm gonna show you my template. So I went ahead and just took some scrap and uh, made a template. And then I keep all my templates together so I can remember. Um, so you're gonna need two um, pieces of uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And the first one, you're just going to score at four and a quarter and uh, then trim it down to eight inches. Okay, so it's going to look like, um, so put all the pieces in there. So it's going to look like this. You're going to have um, it scored at four and a quarter and then you're going to cut off half an inch from here. So it's going to be half an inch short on this side. Okay, so that's your first piece. And then your next piece is going to be um, a little bit different. You're going to score it at one half, four and a quarter, and four and three quarters. So um, this is going to be the inside piece. So this half inch strip is going to go in here. And it's going to go right next to this. And you're going to put adhesive there. Okay. And then you're gonna uh, fold this closed like that. So it just looks like a regular card. But then when you open it, surprise, this is gonna pull, be pulled up into your box. And so you can use um, any kind of opening die, circle die, square die, label die, tag die, whatever you want um, to do this piece right here. So I'm going to first, um decorate this i was having a hard time just deciding which paper to use i think i'm going to be different this time and use this side what do you guys think do you like this side better do you like that side better uh, i don't know it's hard to say because i stamp in the evergreen um there and this has the evergreen in it whereas this does not Okay, I'm just going to stick with this side. Okay, so uh, 
quick tip if you want to um, use the cutouts for another card, try not to get any um, ink or glue um, too close on the sides because it does cut it pretty close. So for this one, I don't usually use um, liquid glue, but I'm going to use it for this one because I just barely want to put it on the edges here because I want to uh, be able to save the inside for another card and not have to be scraping adhesive off of it. So um, flip this over and we'll glue that on right in the middle. Okay. And I'm gonna let this dry just for a little bit while we do the front of the card. Okay. Um, oh, and I forgot a little tip. Um, after you score this at one half, trim off like the tiniest sliver here, like one sixteenth. Um, it's just gonna help you fit um, this piece in uh, more, more nicely. Is that the, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It's going to be nicer, <laughs> when you, easier when you put the card together. Okay, so um, for the front of the card, um, I have already cut, uh, stamped everything out because you saw me stamp before. So um, this piece is just layered on here. So we're just gonna get that layered here. And then um, we're gonna stamp in real red on this piece. There's some little pieces of something on here. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy sand eraser to clean them off. And real red, we're gonna do love and joy. It's like the song, love and joy come to you. May it last the whole year through. It's a little bit different from the song. Okay, so there's our sentiment. And then we're gonna add pine cones. You can do, um, I did two large and one small, but for this one, I'm just gonna do three small because um, it will work and you won't even know because I accidentally cut out too many smalls, <laughs> but it uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so you're gonna put these two like this, and then you can put this one in the middle, like that, so cute. And then we're just gonna add all of this with glue dots because I don't want it to be too um, tall. Um, let's see. Glue dots. I always misplace them. No, I actually put them back where they belong. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these two branches on. And then I've stamped uh, some berries out on their own and cut them out. So it's really cool the dyes um, cut out the berries on their own or um, on the stem. So you have two options for the berries. And then we'll put some dimensionals on here. Yes, I use a lot of dimensionals. I don't like saggy labels, so I gotta put one in the middle. Okay. So now we're just gonna layer that right on there. So pretty. And uh, this is going to go on the front of our card. Of course, I like to use dimensionals on this one too. And then I have also used the carryover ribbon from the last holiday catalog um, and some of the gold I don't know if it's twine, I can't remember, gold twine, I guess that's from like the metallic twine pack. So we'll put this on the front. Beautiful, okay, so I'm gonna use my little fun 
bow thing now that I think I've got the hang of it. Okay, so windy, whoops, wind, and then looks like I've got a little kink right there. So I'm just gonna put that kink right there. No, right there. And then wind this around and I'm gonna trim it about there. This one I think I can loop through a little easier than the other one, maybe, maybe not, uh-oh. So I'm gonna go, no, I go down through here in the middle and then I leave that loop on the right and then I come up and over, up and over and in the loop. Yeah, it'd be better if I made it longer because now I'm struggling. Okay, I can do it. I'm gonna use my thumb from my other hand to hold it in place. Okay, try again. Yeah, I should have cut it longer. Cut it longer, don't. Okay, so now I can pull, 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 pull. Oh, yay. This is gonna be a nice bow. Look at that. I'm loving it. Okay, so now I can attach the bow to the front and then I'm gonna tie, I'll trim that a little bit. I'm just gonna do it the traditional way because this is so thin, doesn't matter. And uh, cut that. Okay. And then we'll grab another glue dot. The kitty cat's on my desk exploring. Okay. And then a little trick for winding up twines and ribbons. Um, cut a little notch in the top here. And then you can uh, put your twine in there and hold it in place so it doesn't keep unwinding on you because that's kind of annoying. And then we'll trim these and this. And so that's the front, super pretty. So now the fun part is the back, or oh, the inside, the back, the inside. Um, so we're going to, I think this is dry. So I'm gonna use uh, this label right here to um, cut my hole. I'm gonna do it a little bit higher, not quite in the middle. And I'm gonna tape this down. And then I'm gonna make some room here for my machine. I'm gonna go this way. I need to grab my machine. We're at my cutting station. Okay, so we're going to use the number one, two, and three plates. One, two, three. I'm just going to line everything up nicely. And then we're going to put this on top. We're just going to give it a little push and run it through. Okay. We've got this cut out now. I'm just gonna carefully remove the washi tape because it can rip your paper, um, but I find it helpful. Hmm. We'll try this side. Got really sticky. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys use, like painter's tape or something? Yeah, dang, kind of ripped a tiny bit. Usually doesn't, but of course it did. Yeah, it did. Or is that from another one? I don't know. Anywho, so now we can use this for another card. So there's just a tiny bit of adhesive there, but this is ready to go. So get rid of that one. Okay, so now um, that down there, 
I can stamp um, what's going to go on the inside of the card. Okay, so we've got that short piece right there. So this is going to be um, three and a half by five and a quarter, and it's going to go in right there, and that's going to be um, our inside piece that that you can see through the window. I think I'm going to stamp that in red. I'm going to be a little bit different this time because I think that'll stand out a little bit better. So you start by stamping the sentiment. So I did friends. Yep, so friends. And I'm going to do it in red. I kind of feel weird stamping in red though because it's like not a good. Asian omen, let's say. <laughs> okay, make sure this is right side up. I'm gonna stamp it towards, in the middle, towards the top a little bit. So like that. And then I'm gonna stamp all around in the different, um, what am I trying to say? Leaves, so we've got this one, this one, this one and this one. And I'm gonna do evening evergreen and pear pizzazz. So I'm gonna start with the pear pizzazz. I'm gonna grab scrap paper so I don't stamp on my background. And I'm gonna do the largest one first. So let's see. Did like one right here and one over here in the corner. And then I think I did one at the bottom here. Okay. And then I did some of this in the evening evergreen. So I did that and that. And just do that. Okay. And then I did this in the pair. 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 And just a little bit right there. And then now I'm going to go back to the evergreen and I'm going to do my stamp layering on top. Love that. Turns out so pretty. Okay. There we go. Ta -da! I like it with the red. I think it's pretty. I should probably stamp some berries too. I think I'm going to stamp some berries real quick. We'll keep that. I just want the red to go, you know, with the red. So let's see if I can get some berries in here. Or maybe, no, change my mind again. I'm just gonna do, there's this little sprinkle of something and I'm just gonna do those instead of berries. So I'm just gonna get some red in here. Go this way and there. Just to add a little bit of red. Okay, I like it. Now we can adhere this to the inside of the front piece. So I'm gonna call this the, the front because it has the front on it. So you're just going to uh, lay that right in the front here. Okay, so now for this piece, you want to use a really strong adhesive like tear and tape, or a stamp and seal plus. So I'm going to do the stamp and seal plus all along this edge. Something strong. Okay. And I'm just going to fit this right in here, not too close, but right in there so that this can close. And then just line that up. And then you can trim later if it's too tall, like this is too tall. Okay, and this is starting to form our card. And then on the 
end of the inside that's going to fold close like this. We're just going to put another line of strong adhesive and we're going to fold this closed flat. Even if it's, this is a little bit off, even if it's off, you want it to fold flat, right? So that you can mail it and then ta-da. So now we just uh, need some decorations. So I've already cut everything out. So I've got some red berries, pine cones, um, pine, ah. and then I have cut out of the die um, this piece right here. And you can get all of these pine boughs by just uh, trimming them off like this. And uh, you can just say, you know, I don't need that piece right there. It's mostly pine cones. And you can get all of these boughs. So I've already cut out a ton. So I'm gonna turn these over and glue some of these on. And this is gonna get glue dots. So I'm just gonna put like a couple dots of glue on some of these. So this is a fun way to get some texture. Okay, let's do this one. Doop, doop, doop. What else have we got? I'm gonna do this one, nice big one. And don't go too far because some of your branches are gonna come up into the window. And so you don't want glue on the back of those. So I'm just gonna put like one over here and I'm gonna add, that looks the same, but nope, I'm gonna add this one down here. And then we can do this one over here. Just make sure it doesn't go over your edge there. Maybe another one right there. I'm just gonna hold that closed to stick those down. That looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna add my pine cones and then I might um, add, and, and I need to put the dimensionals on the bottom um, because there is no, because that's the only place that I can stick them. So we're just gonna put that there on the bottom and uh, this one as well. And then I can stick in my little pieces with glue dots. Glue dots, where did I put them this time? They're right in front of me. That always happens. Okay, so I'm gonna do some of the berries. So here's, a, here's one right here. And then I think I put glue on another one of these. So I'm gonna add that one in here too, on top. And then I think this goes on the other side. Sorry, it's hard to see because it's not quite open. So I'm gonna stick that all the way down in here. And then I can do another berry like that. And put that down here like that. And then I think I'm going to add uh, one more leaf. Not this one, not this one, not this one. Maybe this one. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to stick this one on the top of that. Okay. This is so fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it with the red. I think that looks good. I think that looks better. So fun. So cool. I hope you make one of these. These are super, super fun. I might go in and try and stamp some red inside there <laughs> just to see. Okay. So sorry, I'm going over time. I try to keep it to an hour and I actually, sorry, I have somebody picking me up at 10, um, but I'm going to try to show you this card real quick. So this is the paper from the uh, Peaceful Place. And I just cut out a circle because I'm going to make an ornament. 
So um, I'm going to color it cherry cobbler. Look at it, so cute. So I'm going to use a blending brush. That's why my ink pad is so inky messy. And I'm going to get a glove because it's so messy. It's really messy. You might want to wear a glove. So I'm going to put my nice rubber glove on. Ta-da! And uh, then I can really ink this up. Hi, Sylvia. You won the door prize. Congratulations. You got the uh, boxwood leaves wreaths so email me your um yeah they're here email me your address and i will send it to you oh yeah <laughs> and then i'm just gonna email this i'm just gonna be a couple of minutes and then i'll be ready sorry tell yeah tell them that I'm almost done doing my live and then I will come out. Okay. Do you want me to invite them in? Um, nah. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna color this with the blends and um, it's easy to do it when you're wearing gloves so you can hold it. But isn't that cool? See my fingers got all inky. Okay. So now I'm going to add okay, this. Oh, okay. I'm going to, I emboss this with the Mary embossing folder and I'm going to use crumb cake and I'm just going to lightly rub to bring out all of the notes like I did with the wintry embossing folder. So you see how that brings out the notes? So cool. So I'm just gonna rub this across all the notes. I love it. You could do the reverse by um, inking your embossing folder, but I, I like this way. because so I like to see the raised part on some of the folders. I think it looks cool. Okay, so go ahead and rub that all on. And uh, you could do the edges. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to put this all together. Um, so I'm gonna put this down. Whoops, I'm gonna make sure that it fits on here first because I think it might be Perfect. Okay, I should actually put this down first. So let's uh, wind this. Why isn't it not? Oh, there it is. Okay. So now we're going to put this on the top. And it's kind of interesting, either side can be the top, really. Because, you know, it, it looks the same both ways to me. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim this off. And I'm going to add this to my evening evergreen. I love the evening evergreen and cherry cobbler together. So pretty. Okay, so now for my Holly Jolly card, I need my embossing buddy, my sad, sad powderless embossing buddy, because I inked it, it's going to be sticky. So I'm going to get quite a bit on there this time. And I'm going to emboss, have a holly jolly Christmas. So I'm going to get my embossing powder ready, and my heat tool ready and clean up a little bit. Okay. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And I'm gonna stamp that right 
in, well, towards the bottom, in the middle towards the bottom. because so we're gonna put branches and stuff up at the top. So just go ahead and pour that on. Okay, looks good. And then you gotta put your powder away and uh, put your ink pad away because you don't wanna heat those up. And then it's really good if you have one of these tweezers to hold it so you don't burn your fingers. Make sure that powder is all melted. Super, super cute. And then we're gonna put uh, dimensionals on. Ooh, I did get ink on me. Oh, and this guy, how did I get ink? Oh, probably from touching the ink pad because it's inky. And then I'm gonna cut some more of these and I've got all of these. And uh, just put some more dimensionals on here and then we will place this I yeah no actually I do like the placement I'll leave it there because I'm using the ribbon as like a to make it look like it's hanging so we'll put it right there and then we can put some of these extra bow pine boughs on here you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom because a lot of it's going to hang off. So we can do some over here. And uh, no, I want it to be like hanging down. So let's trim off that one and this one. And this one. And snip, snip, snip. I want this one right here. Do, 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 do. Okay. And so this one's going to hang this way. Whoops, I'm going to put it over here because it's kind of long. Okay. And then I like this one, it's kind of going up. Put that up there. And then I think these two are the same. But I'll go ahead and put it up here to just vary the position. And then that one's going that way, so I don't want that one. So this one, this one will go this way. I think that's good. Okay. I'll use those for something else. Okay, so now the bow. Love the bow. Okay, so we'll just cut a little piece of ribbon to like hang down. And I'm going to um, put some, make sure that's right side up. Ah. Um, what am I gonna put? I'm gonna put some seal right here at the top. Seal plus, something super duper strong. And just attach that right there. And then I cut this a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut it about there. And I'm gonna use a super big glue dot on the end so that it doesn't fray too much and stick this down. Right here. Okie dokie. And last but not least, I'm going to use my little bow tool. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna come around and we're going to cut this so that I can do the loop. And uh, we're gonna make this uh, loop here on the right while I go down in the hole. 
Okay, so we've got this loop. Hmm. The loop looks twisted. I'm gonna twist it back the other way. Okay, so I'm gonna come up through here and then I'm gonna go through the hole right there. Yeah, where is it? Okay, right there. Okay, there we go, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Okay, it's gonna be so pretty. Oh, look at that. Love it, love the little bow maker. Such a perfect little bow. I actually like this side better. That's kind of weird. Why do I like this side better? Just pull that over a little bit there. Okay, so now we can add that with a glue dot. And that's the card. So as always, I'm offering this as a free card kit. When you place a $40 order using my current host code, or uh, when you purchase the bundle, you will get this free card kit. So you can just email me and let me know that you would like this card kit and I will send it right out to you. And don't forget the seasonal sale that's happening now till Thursday, 10% off cardstock, 15% off inks and 20% off dies from the annual catalog. So you can go to my website and click on shop now or we'll go to shoppylanescreations.com and stock up on cardstock inks and complete your die collection. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, I, I just love this so much. It's just so pretty. So, so pretty. And I know I kind of, I don't do simple cards. I kind of go over the top, but uh, it's fun and I, and I like it and I hope you do too. So let me, uh, come on, what's that? Nope, it's not letting me spotlight. Okay, so I'm just gonna say goodbye from here. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next Tuesday at nine Pacific time. I will be doing um, some more Christmas cards. So stay tuned for that and have a great week.